Hello guys, um, welcome back to a new video. Uh, you may have noticed it has been a while since I've uploaded oh, anything, but good, is it? we, we have had tried. camera issues, as in I've broken the GoPro basically. That's not great for you guys. As um, you will see later yeah. in the video, I'll point it out and I'll slow down the spot. Oh. So, vertically edging basically. Went the wrong, well not the wrong way, but I went forward instead of back, or I'm not sure what, something like that. And then I was Big holding it like in a different way than I usually do. And that way, obviously, because the head spins a certain way, it kicks stuff up at you. And I, you know, I just got a uh, glass protector for it, so I'd gotten a tempered glass. So I was thinking, oh great, you'll, you know, she'll be right. And the last thing I was thinking of is it hitting me. I wanted to on my head. Maybe on the ground, I'd understand. But on my head, I never thought that would happen. So, you know, I sort of just, okay, you know, she'll be right. And yeah, went for it. But basically, just started mowing it. I was doing my thing, and then take the thing off my head and I feel like a, you know when you can feel something's cracked and there's like a bit of a difference in between and I felt that and I was like oh great here we go probably scratched it because I have scratched it before and I sort of rubbed it out a bit oh okay you know she'll be fine and then I looked at it again and I thought oh yeah it's just a screen protector nah it broke in two places and it broke the lens protector which is fine if you break that because you just take it off put a new one on but it also broke the lens so now basically my camera's stuffed which isn't fun but yeah I have the GoPro Plus membership thing, which is good, so I'm just going to get it sent back and they'll replace it for me with free of charge. I think it's a $70 a month thing you get to pay for, but it's definitely worth it with expensive cameras like this, because I'm not paying $500 for a brand new one. I think I've had it for three months, I've got it in December, so even though it's already broken, I'm not too stoked about that, but I'll get it sent back sooner or later. I've just got to get around to it, but yeah. So this is one of my regulars. Um, this lady's always really nice, pays on time, pays cash, nice and easy. I've had this one forever. I think I've had this one for two years or a year and a half, just in my street, nice little small local one. I let it go for a few weeks in the growing season. Well, as you can see here, the edges aren't the nicest things, but you know, what can you do? You can get them cleaned up pretty well, and this lawn always comes up pretty good. When I first got this lawn, I had to. I used a wheel edger, the ones that you sort of stomp on and push forward and it makes a sort of sound. But soon figured out after a while that wasn't really cutting it. So when I got the blade edge, the first thing I did was edge this. And that's in one of my old, really old like, vlog 12 or something. God knows. It's, all I know is it's old. But yeah, so we got the old card out here. Um, I just bought one combi system because, you know, no point bringing two really. Um, and that rover over there is a junk, junk find. I found that on the lawn. Oh yeah, great rover. Take it. Sweet put fuel in it because it was empty, which is in a way good because you don't want stale fuel, and then it went first go, first port went. Um, KM131 here, I reckon if I'd had the 94, I don't reckon I would have actually done the lens, to be honest with you, because this thing throws, throws stuff a lot harder, and I was going full throttle, so I was being, you know, taking a risk, yeah, it's a calculated risk. Um, the guard doesn't, not having the guard doesn't help either, and that would have definitely stopped it, but Look, it's a risk you take, and I, I screwed up with the technique, so it's not, you know, no one's fault, it's my fault at the end of the day, but, um, yeah. But you see, when you're quartering like this, I'm doing right now, it's straight upside down. All the stuff really shoots to the right, which I shouldn't be doing given those car there's cars over there, but I'm at a safe distance once again, this is a calculated risk. Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing that right next to a Mercedes or anything like that, because that's just going to end badly for you. Yeah, especially with no insurance, which I don't have as 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 of now. Um, that's about really it. Yeah, so hope the video is somewhat enjoyable, and hope you guys can have a good laugh over me destroying my 500 and whatever it is dollar camera. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll have the camera back soon, and we can get back into this YouTube thing because I am missing doing it. It was always good to do. Give me something to do, and you know, on the weekends or whatever. And I should have videoed more in my in my season because we we had a we were doing seven mornings a week for a while back there. Now, due to this whole virus, we've lost so many clients, it's not funny, but we're down to a five or six. I picked up one new one the other week, so I had not recorded on. Um, yeah, edging like this can usually be okay, but sometimes you do get a bit of stuff flipped up at you, but once again, this isn't exactly a rocky lawn. You know, there's something you look at, oh great, full of rocks, but this is definitely not one that's full of rocks. Um, as you can see, I have a problem. I <laughs> I edged it twice or something just to get all the runners out of it, but second time I did it I screwed up and that's when I lost my camera, but what can I say? Look, I'll shut up now and hopefully you guys enjoy the video, but lesson learned. <laughs> you can never be too careful with these GoPros. Alrighty guys, have a good one. I'll see you later.
Let's mow. Hopefully this thing does all right, it should do. Come on. I've got any petrol with me, it better not be out. 